Hi, Al here. Um, a quick video here, hopefully answering the commonly, one of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, why is my attendance inaccurate? Uh, lots of possible reasons for that. Uh, but I suspect that the most common reason is the fact that you are relying on the built-in layouts that are, that are available in Google Meet rather than using the Grid View Fix extension. So simulating things here with a number of students on my screen, uh, by default, when you, change, or when you look at the layout for Google Meets, it will default to auto view with nine tiles showing. So I clicked on the vertical ellipsis, the three dots in the bottom right corner of the, of the screen, and then selected Choose Layout. And by default, as I said, it will use it will uh, go to the auto layout, which the, means that it will pick which the Google Meet will pick what what it thinks is the the best layout for you, and it will default to nine students showing on the screen. So if you have more than nine students showing, not all of them are going to be visible, and if they're not visible, my attendance extension cannot determine whether or not they're there because they're not visible on the screen so google removes all references to them in their document object model and so i have no idea whether or not they are there and then as you go out to go through your meet they will only keep the nine most active participants on your on your screen and so if someone turns on their video or they speak or they contribute through the chat pane you'll see that the students that are visible on your screen will appear and disappear. And those that are the quiet ones, the ones sitting in the back of the room paying attention or maybe gone back to bed, but those ones at the back of the room never appear on the screen. So I don't know whether or not they're there. And if you do have an active conversation going on and on the screen, well, then you'll see someone appearing on the in the meet for a while. And then in your report, you'll see that they disappear. And it's all because Google is playing games with who's the who are the most uh, um, active participant. You can change the number of tiles, have more students showing on the screen. You can change yourself to the tiled layout. And again, that in theory should make things work better. Unfortunately, in my experience, the layout settings aren't necessarily sticky. And so I will come in and change it to the tiled layout with 42 uh, tiles. And the next time I come into my meet, those, those settings have been forgotten. Google says that the layout selection is supposed to be saved, but the number of tiles is not necessarily saved. And so what happens, or what happened to me uh, before I went back to grid view fix, was that uh, I would have everything set up for one meet, come in the next day, forget to check my layout, and son of a gun, my attendance was inaccurate again because it reverted to the auto and the number of tiles reverted to nine rather than the 20 or 30 that I have in my class. So uh, the other thing that is peculiar about, to the Google, about the Google layout options is even though I have selected at the moment a maximum of 42 tiles, they will override that. They will arbitrarily change the number of tiles depending on whether or not I'm showing my screen or whether perhaps one of my students is showing their screen. And so for those reasons, you know, even though you specified that you want to have all 42 showing at the same time, they may not be there. So for that reason, I strongly, strongly recommend that you use the GridView Fix extension. The GridView Fix one extension has the green three by three waffle icon. There's an older version called GridView that has a black uh, icon, same one, but black instead of green. That one is obsolete. The uh, The person who was developing that code has abandoned the project, and and so it's now buggy. So get rid of that one, delete it, and then make sure that you've got the, the proper one. I will include a link to Grid View Fix below the uh, this video. And so at the moment, Grid View Fix is installed. I know that, well, because there's the green icon up there. Also, in the buttons at the top of the screen, there is the, the grid view, but it's not turned on at this point. It is installed, but not active. So you have to remember to click, in, click it to make it active. You, uh, you can select that option 
so that it is enabled by default. And so the next time you come into your meet, it will automatically turn on. In my experience, and this may, be, may have something to do with uh, goofy stuff at my, uh, at my school board, uh, but uh, that setting doesn't seem to be sticky for me either. So I have to remember to, uh, to make sure it's turned on. And so with the grid view fix on, sorry, installed and enabled, your kids are going to all show on the screen and the attendance will be accurate. If you share your screen or if a student shares their screen, there will be a portion of the of this window will get uh, taken up by whatever is being shared, but the students will be displayed in the periphery around the shared content. And so again, all of them will be on the screen for the entire meet. Um, my extension can take the attendance. If someone then chooses to leave, well, then they've left and you've got it on a good good authority that uh, that they actually abandoned your meet and, uh, and, uh, and left. So why is it inaccurate? Probably because you're not using grid view fix. There you go. Thanks. I uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye.